The purpose of this video is to help clarify what evolution is and what it isn't. Most people who think that they disagree with the theory of evolution don't actually understand what it is and how it works. I want to specifically address the argument that we shouldn't believe in evolution because it's only a theory. And also the idea that evolution is a random process completely governed by chance. It's not. Let us first clarify the difference between facts and theories. Facts and theories are different things. They are not rungs in a hierarchy of increasing certainty. Facts are the world's data. Every time I let go of this apple, it falls to the ground. The sun rises and sets in cycles of approximately 24 hours. Human beings are primates. These are all facts. Now, in contrast, a theory is a structure of ideas that explains and interprets facts. Facts do not go away when scientists debate rival theories to explain them. Now, let's go back to the fact that when I drop the apple, it falls to the ground. In ancient times, the theory was that everything was drawn to the center of the universe, and since it was believed that the Earth was the center of the universe, that theory appeared to be perfectly sound. In 1543, Copernicus made it clear that the Earth was not the center of the universe, and the old theory became inadequate. However, apples continue to fall. In 1687, Isaac Newton proposed his theory of gravity. It could predict the motions of the planets as well as objects on Earth with a very high degree of accuracy. But it was not perfect. Uh, for example, as telescopes improved, it became clear that the theory was just a little bit off when calculating the orbit of the planet Mercury. Now in 1919, Albert Einstein introduced a completely new conception of gravity with his general theory of relativity. Not only did it account for the motion of the planet Mercury, but it has also made several predictions which have been subsequently verified, such as the stretching of time when traveling at high velocities, the bending of light by a gravitational lensing, and the expansion of the universe. So theories should be expected to change when the data warrants it. Science is driven by new discoveries which require established theories to be modified or replaced. Now, the theory of evolution by natural selection is a simple interpretation of a few simple facts. Okay, fact. When organisms reproduce, there are random variations. Fact. Thanks to these variations, some organisms will have more offspring than others. Fact. Variations that are advantageous to reproduction will become more numerous in the next generation. Theory. Given enough time, this process of gradual cumulative change has led from single-celled organisms to the wondrous complexity and variety of species that we see today, including ourselves. Charles Darwin first published this theory in 1865. In the 140 years that have passed, a lot of new evidence has been collected and analyzed. This includes data from fields as varied as geology, molecular genetics, and cosmology. Some aspects of the theory get tightened up and corrected as new data comes in, but the underlying mechanism is still there. Evolution by natural selection is the non-random survival of randomly varying individuals. It is only the cumulative nature of these changes that give the illusion of design. We can put as much confidence in the theory of evolution as we do in the theory of gravity.